Your life will never be the same again. I receive it. The miracle power of God is coming and it is for you today. I receive it. What God began to do in your life, no one can change it. Amen. What is yours is yours. What is yours is yours. What is yours is yours. I say it is yours. In Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You can stand up. Thank you, Jesus. The man of God is led to call this particular man forward, oh. but we see him struggling to get up. It looks as though he is in pain. He's struggling. Rise, brother, rise. Family, he cannot even stand on his own. He can barely walk. What's your name? Chris Moyo. Are you in pain? What is happening? I can't walk properly. You can't walk properly? Yeah. Is it permanent or it comes, it goes, it comes, it goes? I can't walk... Uh, because that problem, it comes all the time to me. Okay, so that problem comes all the time to you. That's why sometimes you can't walk. Amen. Okay, okay. When did it start? In 2004. But that's a long time. In 2004? Yes. Uh, in 2004. Then I, I had an accident with a, a bicycle in 2004. You had an accident yes. with a bicycle. Yes. Look, when I look at you, the 2004 accident caused you this. Sometimes pain comes and you can't walk. That's what you say. Yes. Since 2004. But that is not the only accident you had because I see a couple of accidents that you had thereafter. True men of God. You had more than one, two, three, four accidents. Yes, men of God. And the I, last accident caused me to, uh, to a, disco, a dislocation. Okay, so yes. when was the last accident? 2016, 11 January. On the 11th of January 2016, you had an accident, you say, and uh, it made things worse. It dislocated your, 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 what, your, your waist? Yes, man of God. Mm. Now, hear me. I want to help you. And I'll help you today. We thank you, Lord, for your thank servant you, who stands in the gap oh, on our Jesus. behalf. Thank you very much. That's why I'm a man of God. Please help me. All right. I like the tie, you know. I like this tie. Did you see that? Wow. Me, I saw it. Pastor Alpha was able to see beneath this man's clothes, beloved. I marvel. You know, if I can see your tie hidden, ha <laughs> ha. This simply means that the eyes of the Lord are upon this man. Where do I start? John, your father died. Yes. Your father died. Amen, man of God. Your mother, Rosemary. Yes, man of God. But your father had two wives. True man of God. Rest and Rosemary. True man of God. Your father had 12 children. True man of God. Six with each of the wives. True man of God. Is that true? True man of God. That's true. Is it your first time? Yes, man of God. It's my first time. How did you come to know us? Jesus. I saw you preaching on Soweto TV. You saw me preaching on Soweto TV. Amen, man of God. So you decided to come. Amen, man of All God. All right, let me continue. So your, your father... Mm, 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 your father had two wives. Yes. Man. His name was John. Yes, man of God. Your father died in 2008. True man of God. He had a stroke. Yes. I am seeing God. him in Standard Bank when he had that stroke. He was inside the bank. True man of God. He fell and they took him to the hospital. Yes, man of God. But after being discharged, he went home. He did not make it. He died that night. Yes, man of God. That's true. But way before that, because you were the firstborn, there had been a fight of wealth. Yes, man of God. And the death became worse after the death of your father. Yes, man of God. Is that correct? True man of God. The two mothers began to fight over the house, over the car, and thinking that uh, you are the first boy. Yes, you will of God. get the better part of the wealth. Yes, man of God. This is why they have been attacking you. Your True man of God. But don't worry. My name is Alf Lukau. Oh, yeah. This is the fearless powerhouse anointed to break every stronghold of the enemy. 
But let me tell you, do you have a child? Yes, man of God, I have a... You have a child? Yes, man of God. I am hearing Dean, Dean. Yes, Dean is his name. Dean is the name of your child? Yes, man of God. But I am seeing you and your wife, you divorced or separated in September last year. True, man of God. Is that correct? Yes, man of God. But the conflict began through the message you found in a phone. Is that correct? True, man of God. Mm. That is it. Because I am seeing you taking an iPhone iPhone 6, you're going through the message and you found a message that she sent to somebody. And the message, should I? We're going to the very root of this problem. I believe every stone must be unturned. Is that correct? You found a message on the phone. Is that correct? Okay, have a seat, have a seat. Have a seat. Whatever he found on his wife's phone is still affecting him. We can see how this memory got him into emotional agony. Is that true? You found a message on the phone of your wife. True, my love, God. And in that message, your wife wrote to somebody, a man, and she said, Was I that thirsty that you had to leave your watch in my house? Is that correct? True, my love, God. This devastated you because you loved her. Oh, Jesus. I'm talking about Winnet. Winnet. Where was my wife? Winnet was your wife. Winnet yes. was cheating on you. <laughs> and this, you did not know if you have to kill yourself or do what, because it happened in your house. And the message say, was I that test? <laughs> That's the rumor of God. That you had to forget your watch in my house. You confronted your wife and she said, no, 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 I sent it to a friend. But it was not true. You but called the family of the wife they did not come because your wife went behind your back and said, please don't come. <laughs> they didn't even help me, man of God. <laughs> they didn't help you? Yes, man of God. That's why I live here. That's why we are separated. This happened just now, September. <laughs> now, you are in the blank. She did not tell you the truth. She didn't <laughs> repent. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm listening. <laughs> you should... Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know how to say this, but you have to forgive her. I'm not saying bring her back. I'm saying forgive her because you have a child together and that you have to grow this child together. Do you, do you understand? I'm listening, man of God. Oh, you are listening. Do you want me to tell who did that? Should I or not? Help me. Should I tell him who was cheating with the wife or not? Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. I'm not saying should I tell you. Because I know you are curious. So help me here. Should I tell him? Yes or no? Yes. How many people say yes? Can I see your hand? How many people say no? Knowing who did this to him will help him find closure. This man is torn, beloved, no, no, and just as Pastor Alf revealed, to this day he still has I no know. idea what really happened. Ah, oh, God. Look, uh, uh, bring him up. Let, I'll tell him, but not on the microphone. This is wisdom. In spite of the damage the culprit has caused to this man's marriage, the church is not in the business of shaming. Look, I want to tell you who did that, not so that you may become bitter, no is so that you may not fall in the same trap. Do you understand? Off microphone and away from the ears of the thousands present and those tuning in globally, Pastor Alf begins to reveal who this man's ex-wife cheated with. And immediately, as though a sharp knife has been placed in his heart, he begins to weep hysterically. Jesus. Yeah. Hey. Oh God, may you touch his heart. This has reopened a wound he's had over the sensitive matter. I've never witnessed a man so devastated over his wife's infidelity. And perhaps this man Pastor Arf has revealed to him was close to him. Holy Spirit, you are the comforter. Heal his heart. is shattered. He was victim to witchcraft and this only made matters worse. He's sick, he's lonely and broken but the devil is a liar. God is a restorer. You see, 
I, I know it's a lot of pain, but sometimes you have to confront it. Otherwise, you'll meet him, and this time he will do you wrong. You can't have someone like that close to you. Right. Are you hearing me? Yeah. You, you need people to stand with you and counsel you and yes. help you through this pain because you'll have to forgive your wife for the sake of the child. Do you understand? It is well. Today is your day. Yes. Receive it. Thank you, Amen. God, I receive. Help me, please, man of God. Stretch your hands to all. We're standing as one, beloved. We combine mm. our faith for this man's healing. God has never ceased to be Jehovah Rapha. Mm. He still heals. Beloved, he can turn any situation around for his glory. What the enemy had planned as a means of destruction is about to be turned into a testament of God's glory, his love, and his sweet mercy. It is well. See, I have a very, very heavy heart right now for what is going through. But sometimes you have to confront it full. Yes. It preserves you. I bless you today. Amen. Thank you, man of God. The Lord will restore you. Please, please. Stretch your hands toward him. I bless your life. I command your pain to leave. Jesus. I release you. Placing Amen. his hands Jesus. on the man's back and chest, Pastor Off releases the power of God, and immediately <laughs> the man is slain. The healing in Jesus it is a done deal. His healing has manifested. In Jesus' name. Pastor break it, break it, break it, break it. God, this brother that you prophesied on just a few minutes ago. You prayed for him, he was in great pain. He said he could not walk. But the, elf, the minute you turn to him, the Jesus. power of God. Jesus. Can My you Jesus. Jesus. Look Jesus. where the Lord has done. Hey. Glory to Jesus. My God. Look Beloved, he I is delivered, I completely I set free. He had I suffered, but look at what a second of being touched by the power of God has done. His hip was dislocated, but he is running. He is completely free from pain. Father God, you are supreme. You are wonderful, mighty God. Somebody receive your own. He said, Amen. Run again. He needed assistance before, but now he is sprinting. His limbs are healed. His hip is healed. Jesus Christ, the healer, the deliverer, our ever-present help has set him free. Glory to God. Jesus! Say Jesus! Jesus! How are you feeling? Uh, I'm now okay. I'm now feeling well, well. No pain. No pain. Can you do this? Ha! Go up. No man Ooh. with a dislocated hip can bend like this. No man who suffered bone fracture run. after four accidents can run the way that this man is running. Our God is not made of wood. He's almighty. He's alive. Lord, you are wonderful. Somebody give Jesus Christ the precious praise you have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We celebrate his mighty Lord, power. Family, Jesus. give him praise. Oh I bless you. Go with it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm blessed. My God. This is my Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm Chris Moyo. I had some problems which I was facing in my life. Family problems which involves my stepmother. Are you in pain? What is happening? I can't walk properly. Is it permanent or it comes, it goes, it comes, it goes? It comes all the time to me. I want to thank God for Pastor Lukao healing me. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Alf Lukao on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Alf Lukao on all social media platforms at Alf Lukao.